we go. I right, just make sure I hit record this time. Oh, fuck. Got to let the, load, the game load itself. There we go. It's a more bearable volume. Right. What did we do last stream? We finished all of the hero missions. I think. Did I not get... We didn't get a superhero on all these missions. Which ones did I miss? Two-Face Chase and Icy Reception. Ah, okay. We also got score times two and always score multiply, which is pretty good. Done all them. And I think we've even did all of the, we did. I guess that means we ought to get started on some villain missions then. I've already done all of the penguins missions in story mode because I did them to get um, always score multiply. So we're going to do, I think we've already done, well we, we must have already done one of Riddler's missions because that's where we get times two from. So I guess we do, we'll do, the, do the rest of the Riddler missions then. There's only one mission in there that I know I don't like, and that is the Two-Face mission. And also I don't like the last one, actually, now that I think about it. Oh well. We need to do them because there's a couple of things we don't yet have. We don't yet have a female character. Who can do the, like, making the guards fall in love with her thing. Actually, now that I think about it, we might. I might have gotten that completely wrong. I think we might have Catwoman already, don't we? Yeah, we got Catwoman. Okay, but we need Poison Ivy to be able to do the plants. And we need... We need Mr. Freeze to freeze things, obviously. Um... Other than that, though, that might be it, really. I don't really rem remember this mission all that well. Like, I remember this first bit. But other than that, I haven't got a clue. Well, that's just not nice. I mean... At least we don't really have to worry about... Oh, actually, I might this stream start trying to get like the red bricks that I just kind of want there's only three that I really want now and that is invincibility I mean fast build would be quite nice to be fair but yeah invincibility and oh yeah power brick and uh, mini kit detector. Those two would just be really nice to have because then we don't really have to look. We don't have to look at walkthroughs or spend ages trying to figure out where things are. So once we finish this, I'm going to figure out which missions those two, three bricks come from. I have a feeling invincibility might be uh, three five, the last of the Joker's missions in the villains because they tend to put invincibility as like the the last mission so we'll have to do story mode of all of them i don't know why i'm spending ages getting coins at this point because we've already got super villain and i guess the only thing we need to save up for now is the other times i think times 
four, which is the next one we'll get, is two million. But I mean, I guess I have trying to been trying to get them, but we have already got nearly a hundred k right at the beginning of one mission. So I'm not overly worried about how long time is four is going to take to get. To be honest with you. I don't remember how to get the... Oh, wait. Yes, I do. we we'll use this, because this can break silver things. And I think we have to park it in there or something. But I just want to destroy the rest of the silver things over here. That's weird. This one doesn't give like drop any studs when you get knocked out of it. Strange. But before I forget to talk about it, um, I'm working with a new schedule. It's not going to take place till next week because this week's a bit funny for like, like time and things like that. But I'm going to try and make sure that I'm streaming this twice a week. There's a spider there. Hello, bud. Go on the floor. He's just kind of in my way on the screen. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and stream this or whatever LEGO game. I'm playing at the moment at the time twice a week and Galacticraft once a week at least oh pardon me although I'll be honest with Galacticraft I am starting to lose interest in it I'm kind of just running out of things that I feel like I need to do with the world or not even that I can't think of anything to do with the world. I just don't have any motivation to do those things. Oh, I've just figured out where I need to go. It's literally the other side. The other ice cream that thing here. God, that took me way too long. But yeah, Galacticraft. It's just... I mean, you can probably see it comparing videos I just feel like I'm not I don't have nearly as much fun with the mod pack as I could so I'll keep going for a little bit but I don't know how much longer I can kind of I'll keep going with Galacticraft because I don't want to stream something that I'm not having fun with because it's very clear I'm not having fun with it at times like I still enjoy the Lego games and I feel like that shows So, who knows, maybe I'll find a different mod pack to play and I'll kind of swap or interchange that with Galacticraft and play Galacticraft sometimes, the other mod pack at other times. But the other thing, because I want to stream, try and stream, three to uh, five times a week, is I'll do like multiplayer games, so it's so Fortnite, um... Rainbow Six Siege. Are you having fun down there, mate? Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, what else? Maybe Overwatch? A little bit Overwatch. But also just things with friends. So, like, uh, Sea of Thieves, for example. And just other things. So I... You know, there's other people in the stream. Because when you spend... A few hours a week talking to yourself it does get you know the spider is on my microphone now hello bud yeah I'm just gonna I don't know the anatomy of baby spiders or little spiders I may have just killed it by pushing it off super strength carriage before pressure test I don't care. That doesn't help me right now. Oh, I've got it. I know what I need to do. Yeah, like I was saying, talking to yourself for like three hours a day, five times a week is 
you know, it, it, it does start to make you feel a little bit crazy. Crazy? That's crazy ones. So, having that time with friends in streams as well just means that it doesn't feel quite so isolated. For now, I'm just going to worry about Lego Batman. Where do you want me? I don't know. Hey, I'm just an idiot. That's all it is. And then we can push this. There we go. Can I push up the way? Can I just... Honestly, it probably would have been faster just to push it all the way. The amount of time I've been faffing about trying to let go of it. I need Robin. I'm on the wrong side for that. Can I get hit while I'm in this? No. Thank God for that. Now what? Oh. No. Dumbass. Alright. Get rid of them. We'll try this again. No. Christ. Problem is, I feel like I need... Okay, there we go. Why are you, like, hiding on it? Just... Push it off the edge. Fucking finally. Is that a purple stud that I see? It is. See? This is why I'm not worried about getting... Four, uh, two million for... Times two, because... I've just gotten... 3,000, or 300,000 rather, from, well, not exactly much effort. Riddler, where have you gone? What are you doing over there? Why are you up? Why are you up? Well, now where the fuck do I go? Oh, fuck me, I'm dumb. Oh, I suppose I did it then. Oh, money. Now what? Am I supposed to like... Hey. <laughs> I feel like it would take a lot longer than that to cool down. Is that... What exactly is this... This is a factory of... Because I, I assume it's ice cream. Just based on the fact that there's ice creams out the front and things like that. But that doesn't look like frozen ice cream. That just looks like... That looks like frozen... Well, a, fr a frozen liquid of some description. Ow. This is why I need invincibility. Because bits like this are such a ball ache when you haven't got it. 
Because you're just going to make me keep killing them, aren't you? And I need to build this, but I can't build while I'm being hit. There we go. So much money. Oh, miss me, miss me. Nope. Well, now what? Oh. Beat the shit out of them. Well, that one died, but that's fine. I've got another. Why? Why are there more? They've got SMGs. I've only got a pistol. What the fuck? Ow! Why are there so many fucking enemies? For no reason. Oh, hello. Sorry about that. No. No. Do I do these in order? Like... Blue... Green... Why are we bouncing? Red. Oh, I thought I had to press it. Nice. Oh, yeah. I need to figure out where. I need a new fucking chair is what I need. See, we're basically at a million already. Lego, Batman, Power Bricks. So I want invincibility. And... It's fucking scroll. Jesus Christ. So, mini kit detector is 2 3. And. Pardon me. Um, power brake detector is 2 4. And then, yeah, invincibility is 3 5. So let's go get. We'll go get power brake and mini kit detector from 2 3 and 2 4. Although, actually, I should probably check. Because I might need Poison Ivy. Is this Poison Ivy's mission? This looks like Poison Ivy's mission. So let's do this mission and get Poison Ivy. And then we'll move on and do them. Because then I'll have every kind of character I need after that. Because it's just that she has... Like, she does, like, a... Perfect, like, example of it. Um, where she makes plants grow and then. I mean, I'll probably have to do it at some point in this mission, so I'll just point it out when I do it. But yeah, I mean. In the process of getting to the invincibility. Uh, red brick. So, like, completing all of the Joker's missions. We'll... We'll get plenty of money out of doing them. And Invincibility only costs 500,000 in this. In other games, it's cost a million. So this is really, like, the first game. Granted, it was only their third one. But it was the first game where things started being a bit more reasonably, reasonably, reasonably priced. Because I think, actually, in other games as well, the multipliers have been more expensive. Definitely in... Um, 
Lego Star Wars anyway, the multipliers. Multi why did I say it like that? The multipliers were more expensive. I like just trapped myself, haven't I? Because I need the car to break the the silver. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I'm okay. Okay, I can still use this to like get up and down. You go get the car. Why do you attack so slowly? My God. And then. Break this. We need to use the levers. Congratulations on being a twat. Fine, I'll play as Poison Ivy because she's not spec. Oh my god. Jesus cr fucking cr I'm gonna fucking I'm I'm so irritated I've started fucking praying Jesus please I beg of you just control like any normal character there we go Riddler get your bony little ass over here and pull that fucking lever thank god that's over Yeah, look, this thing. See? Told you. Okay, well, she only uses one hand, but my point is all stands. I know I don't need the money, but if, like, I feel bad not getting it. Because I've been conditioned to get as much money out of every level as possible. So anytime I don't, I just feel like I'm not finishing the mission properly. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Let me in. Let me in! Thank you. And I guess at some point, I'm going to need the 2 million to get times 4 anyway, so. After we get times 4, that's when things really get easy, because uh, the times 4 and times 2 work together. So it becomes times 8. So when you have that plus the always score multiply, everything gets multiplied. Well, I mean, usually by 3. Because most of the stuff you coins you get come from in like big clusters. So you end up with like coins being times three and then times eight. So money just kind of comes rolling in. I don't know why I'm doing this all by hand. I should just build the creature and then walk through all of it. It's much faster. never actually fully completed this game but I don't think there's any like weird little things to this game like there is in other games so like for uh, for other games like in any in, in, in Indiana Jones you have the secret characters that you have to find um, and in Lego Star Wars, there's the all the old versions of the levels and things like that. Whereas in this game, I think we just have the the Lego City where you have to destroy things. 
And that's about it. Oh, and the hostages. There's hostages in the game. But, I mean, you, that's quite common in the games after this. Because you've got, like, Stanley in peril in the later games and all that kind of stuff. Or the Marvel games, rather, not later. Where's his head? Oh. Hang on. Yeah. That was just me. Me being stupid. Sorry about that. Eat him. Come here. There we go. You guys are not very intelligent. You kind of just keep running towards the big alien. Or the big plant, I suppose. Why are there so fucking many of you? I can't be bothered. I'm actually, I'm gonna do what I keep saying I will and just move on. Rather than keep trying to maximize the money I get out of the level. It lagged into a mic. I couldn't help it. What am I meant to do here? Over here? Nope. Well, I don't know where I'm meant to go. Get in the fucking boat! Thank you. Is it just... Oh. I thought there'd be a bit more to it than just ram the wall. Can't even be bothered. Oh, they're going to chase me inside. Okay. <laughs> the fucking yell. There we go. In your pop. Run him over in the process. Oh, he's tractor resistant. I've been foiled. I think this is the last room. No, it's not. The last room is after this section. Maybe. Leave me alone. I do love the fact that in the LEGO games, like, anybody anywhere will try to kill you. Whereas in the movies, or like any kind of superhero movie, you, you, like, people have a bit more common sense. They see the villains and they're like, hmm, maybe we shouldn't go and punch Poison Ivy in the face. You know, that might not end well for us. And I know it's like, it's kind of the point of the game is to like, everything is trying to kill you. But, you know. And let's be honest, I'd still complain if they replaced all the like normal people with AI, um, not AI, with police. 
Because I'd be like, well, why are there so many police everywhere? It's just annoying. Can't we have a bit of variation? So, there's just really no pleasing me. What the fuck did that do? Oh, it made a lamp. Well, that's funky. How do I get up there, though? See, these are the missions that remind me of why I want invincibility. Because you have enemy caps, where no matter how many of them they kill, you kill, more will just spawn. Because, for some reason, the developers think that is good level design. It's the one thing about these games. I, I love the LEGO games, I think they're a lot of fun. But enemy caps, or not even enemy caps, just enemies that aren't capped, are just so fucking dumb. Making me go and fight five more enemies because I made a little bit of progress with the mission it is not good level design. It's just time wasting. Like, every time I'm doing one of these, four, uh, five more police officers spawn, and as soon as I go over here and start making progress towards, like, this bit, I guarantee five more are going to spawn. Yep, there we go. Look at that. So I now have to pause what I'm doing, go and fight these guys, then I'll do the next bit, and as soon as I build the next thing, five more will spawn, and I'll do that again. And it's the same with, the like... The, the boss fights in the hero side and it's especially annoying because in the early games when you're building you're haven't, you haven't got any shield so you're just kind of susceptible to being shot and you have to kill everyone and then go and build here they come look see five more I'm just gonna jump on this thing and hope that it triggers the end of the, the level please there we go. Thank fuck for that. But, yeah, I mean, I, I don't remember that being a thing in the later games where enemies would just keep spawning every couple of seconds. So I think at some point TT Games did kind of realise that is not the way to go with level design and actually it is just time wasting and pointless, which is nice. Let's go do some free play missions. Do I need to buy Poison Ivy? I probably should have like actually been paying attention to see if I got her added to the roster or not. Guess I can just go over and oh, I get so much money from the purple studs now. Uh, this one. Harboring a grudge. Free play. Oh, this is a boat mission anyway. Oh, shit. Hmm. Am I going to get stuck here? Because I need... Well, I've done both the boat missions, so I should be able to buy all of the boats now. Let's just go buy all the boats, just to be, you know, better safe than fucking sorry. Characters. Why can't I buy that? I think that's all the boats, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't buy these yet because they're planes and I haven't done 
the I haven't done the um I'll get there in the end. Give me a second. The Scarecrow's plane mission. But I also haven't done... I don't think there is a Scarecrow plane mission, is there? I thought there were only four. Uh, maybe there is a plane mission. I don't fucking know. Let's go. Alright, first things first, obviously just destroy everything, because I apparently didn't get, oh that's nice, I don't, I just switch into it and it gives me a thing, that's lovely, I like that, except it didn't that time. Oh, because that's Robin's submarine. Ooh, okay. Where the fuck did that go? Oh. How do I break these? I need... Does anyone have just grenades that I can have? Not grenades, um, bombs. Or am I still going to have to go pick them up? Well, that's annoying. On the plus side, though, at least I already have four mini kits. Did that guide itself? No way. I refuse to believe that the bomb just guided itself to where I wanted it to hit. No, it didn't. This way. Okay, it kind of like semi guides itself, which I, that's better than nothing. I'll take it. Oh wait, it's just a uh... nice. Now, I don't even remember where anything on this mission, like, could be. How do I submerge again? Oh, wait, so I can probably do with this as well, can't I? I can't. Oh, shit. I died. I don't even need that because I have Robin's watercraft, which just automatically has them. Oh Christ. Fine, doesn't matter how much money I make now, I've already got true villain. Or yeah, super villain rather. Ooh, there's things off the side. Okay, one in five. There wasn't any in here, was there? No. Nah. Oh, look at that. And that is why we always break everything. I think I have like my feelings towards the vehicle missions fluctuate a lot because sometimes they're really frustrating 
because everything is just a pain in the ass to control. But at the same time, they're also a lot more fast paced than any other mission in the game is. Which is a nice, like, change. But like here, where I can't actually press the button, but I need to press the button to move on. Like, why, why can't I press the button? And I've... Well, I suppose this isn't a vehicle mission problem. This is just shit's level design, once again. Press the fucking button. There we go. One down, one to go. How did I do that one? I just kind of rammed it. There we go. He hasn't even got a gun. Mad has a steamboat. Is the world's shittiest boat. And then I need to get some bombs to do those silver things to the side. Batman. I don't even need anything other than the boats I already had because none, none of them have anything else. Like I could have done free play with just Robin's boat and the bat boat and I'd have been fine. Fuck me sideways. Will you piss off? This is where the vehicle missions get irritating when I'm trying to drive. It's these fucking bombs! If they just had a boat. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Robin, I swear to fuck, if you fucking row into my boat one more time, I'm going to kill you myself. I don't need the joke to do it. I'll fucking do it. Fuck off. And I can't kill this one. I just <laughs> I'm losing the will. Why are there fucking more of them? I've had enough. Because this one can't die. This one's also invincible. I swear, if this blows up on anything other than one of these silver shits, I'm going to cry. Go away. There's an invincible police officer. Where's Robin gone? Just ignore them. Just ignore them. My screen turned itself off. So, give me one second. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, and I cut the boat doesn't turn fast enough to actually kill them because they just f swim round you. Oh. See, this could be made significantly less irritating by simply not having it so that every time I collect a bomb, more police officers spawn. Because right now, I'm trying to maneuver a bomb. And that's made... Like, so much more difficult. Thank God. But I bet that, you know, fucking anything in it, did it? Oh, thank God for that. I was really worried that I'd done that in the first time I played the mission. And I didn't need to, but I did it anyway. I really hope I haven't missed... The mini kits that I haven't got yet. Or the... Well, there's one of them. Okay, where's the red brick? Oh, and this one, he's still invincible. I can see a mini kit because I can, it's like submerged.
Are you telling me that entire time? That the police officer I was trying to shoot, thinking it was a police officer, was in fact just Robin. Or the Player 2 character. Because if that's the case, I'm... Well, now I'm just sad. And I, actually, I, I have no idea where the power brick is. It's not here. Can I go back? No, of course I can't. Fine. Alright. Time for a walkthrough. Harboring a grudge Lego Batman red brick. No, it is found at the end. Hang on. But where? Hey. I'm just getting out of the water so I can't be shot. There we go. Exit level. Never touch that level ever again. We'll go and buy the mini kit detector. And then we'll do level 4 or 5, which is a daring rescue. That's the sewers one, isn't it? I think so, anyway. Give me one second while I get the, the purple coin. Because it would be rude not to. Extras. I mean, I might as well buy these as well while I'm here. And we'll turn mini kit detector on. Now, the the other nice thing about getting these as well is that obviously not only does it help us, but it makes you feel like I'm making a lot of progress because we've only really done two full levels today. But in the process of doing that, we've gained, like, nearly 8% more. So, that's not bad, if you ask me. Can I walk on this as Clayface? That'll be a no. But Bane, Bane can walk on it, can't he? The wrong way. I don't have Bane, Mr. Freeze. Fine. I need glide. There's apparently something over to my left, but I feel like the game is lying to me because there is nothing to my left. No, I think it's just like, I think it's just slightly broken. I got super villain on this before, didn't I? No, I didn't. Suppose I didn't really spend much time doing anything on it before, did I? So I kind of just played the mission for the purpose of getting to 
the last mission for character, not character, um, always score multiply. Fine, I can't imagine getting supervillain is going to be particularly difficult with the multipliers we have now. I think once we finish, once we get red brick detector, I guess we just go and do the Joker missions, and so we can get invincibility. Ah, oh, shite. We need to do a Joker mission before I can do any of this, because we need the Joker to get through those things. I completely forgot about him. So we need to go and do the Joker mission, or a Joker mission now. What does he get us, actually? I think the first mission gets us fast build. Which is tempting, because fast build is very useful. It does give us fast build. I might actually try and go for that red brick as well then. To be fair, we probably could have just carried on with that mission because that wasn't the red brick, so that wasn't the thing that I needed. But for the sake of actually 100%ing all in one go, I might as well go and get the Joker first and then go back and do it. see this cutscene. I feel like I'm getting deja vu. <laughs> Just fucking like slid down the stairs. I can't get up there, can I? No. Right, let's just do this mission for the purpose of getting through it. I'll worry worry about getting all of the um extra shit another time. Well, that did nothing. Hey. Uh, oh, I'm going to crush it. Sorry, Harley. Oh, it's this music again. It's fine. I can deal with this music for a couple of minutes. It'll be fine. Can't get through there. I want to see how, like, quickly I can actually get through these missions. Now, if I don't faff about trying to get all of the money and all of the other things.
Oh, I can't get in there. Am I meant to get in there? Oh, it's just not got the symbol on it. That's weird. Okay. If I go stand in this, is the AI going to do it himself? <gasps> it is! Look at that. That's advanced, that is. Oh, and then I... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise he was in it. Oh, I've just killed him. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's made it up himself. Brilliant. What's that done? So that was all just throw mini kit that I can't get. Where am I meant to be going then? Here? Well now I'm confused. Oh wait, I remember now. I think I remember anyway. This mission always confuses me because it's like made to look as if you're supposed to just go off and do um, open those doors to then go into the fun house, but it's not. You go up here and you go the direction that isn't telegraphed in any sort of way whatsoever. This way. I think that's only, like, the one bit of this mission that just does... What? Why are you walking off the edge? I'm walking in a straight line. Yeah, the one bit of this mission that just doesn't seem to make much sense. Oh, if I wanted to go back up there, which I don't, but thanks. remember like none of this mission. I just remembered that first bit and that's it. I must have never completed this bit mission or like 100% of this mission in the past. Because I remember other ones because I went back and 100%ed them but this one is just no memory. Although I am very happy about there being more police officers for me to kill. Just glad there wasn't like a... Absor uh, absorbent? Exuberant? Exuberant? Stupid. We'll go with that. Stupid amount of police officers to be killed this time. Don't knock me out, oh, you pricks. Whatever, like, controlling system these characters use, it was not made for... How do I get up there? It was not made for platforming in any way, shape, or form. Because these characters fucking suck at it. How do I get up there? Oh, I need a gliding character, and I need Batman, and... Okay, well, at least that looks fairly easy to get. Oh, I remember this bit. Not anything about it, I just remember it existing. I don't feel like that's helping with anything. Oh, is it literally just... Well, that did something. Oh, 
I just drive through the gate? Nope. Boom! Now I'm so glad that not only we did not only do we have the obnoxious music in the background, we now have the obnoxious mu music from the carousel. Blue, red, yellow. let me in on what the plan is because I don't really know what I'm meant to do because I know I for a little bit of this I just beat the shit out of Commissioner Gordon oh, am I supposed to like I think I remember having to pick one of like the pink cat women out of the thing with the crane or something along those lines So they like act as bombs and I just that looked like a bomb to me. Nice. The a while ago I said something about feeling like it was impossible not to take damage in one of the early games, I don't remember which one it was, it may have been Lego Star Wars. Because no matter, like, when you were being shot at, you couldn't help but take damage. Like, there was no way to avoid taking damage, and it always just felt like the combat, you would die multiple times, no matter what. And I think this game kind of illustrates quite well what I actually meant by that, because in this game, you can see, like, when they fire at Harley, they're just constantly firing, whereas when I'm fighting, there's less gunfire, and I don't take damage nearly as much when I'm getting punched. There's some amount of, kind of, leeway in there, which means that I'm not constantly dying whenever I get involved in a, um, like a fight. Oh my god, it was a cage? Whoa. Am I going for a trip? That nah, doesn't look comfortable. He's going to end up with so much brain damage. Well, there we go. We've got the Joker. So that really is every character we need. And we can now go and complete... Level 2-4. I'm also quite tempted to go, but I can try and complete Arctic World. Because I really don't want to. But I'd rather just get it done. But I don't want to, because... Oh, I meant to, try, I meant to intentionally pick Bane, because I really like using Bane on this mission. Because he has strength and can also... Actually, I suppose Mr. Freeze has the same. Oh, I've got a really bad neck ache today. It's finally one more day at work, and then I get four days off. It's a shame that those four days... Oh no, it's not. It's only two days off. Because I'm back at work on Saturday. But those two days aren't really days off because Thursday I'm in school. Yay. And then Friday, I'm at a wedding. So... Like, as much as obviously the wedding is not work and doesn't really require much from me... 
it's still not quite a day off, I'd say. A day off to me is like, I have nothing to do other than, you know, a couple of errands or something like that. It's just basic shit. But I get, I'll get a day off at some point. I haven't even got my rotors for next week, so I don't even know if I'll get a day off next week. Because next week I'm in school. Monday, uh, not Monday. Thursday and Friday. So if those are my only two days off next week and they give me shifts every other five days, then I don't really get any days off. Woe is me. What the fuck am I doing? It's a jazz band. You could not make that music with this band. I should also keep talking so that I don't get copyright claimed because all of my other Lego Batman videos have been claimed now. Fortunately, they've been claimed, but the the, the copyright owner allows for the the use of the the music in videos and things like that. So hopefully, if it does get claimed, that will happen again. I mean, to be honest with you, I think if you do that, I could just kind of... Ooh, score multiplier room. Give me a blue stud or something that I can use, please. Oh, I have to... Well... I know where it is, so it's not exactly... Characters they can double jump fast. Oh, you bastard. Oh, there are blue studs there, though. So. Actually, I mean, the score multiplier room doesn't really make a difference because. I always. I have the thing that does always score multiplier, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, I. Okay, that wouldn't have been any different in any other room. I don't actually know where the red brick is in this level. I'm going to find that out now. So I don't end up... What's the mission called? A daring rescue. A daring... Rescue... Red brick. No, it's not until I end up in the police officer's bathroom, so I've got a minute yet. Do I have to do that, or can I just... No, I have to make the fucking crocodile. Okay. Fine, I'll build the crocodile. Piece by piece. I should have gotten fast build because this mission would be fine with fast build. I should have just completed the Joker's mission. Like 100 percented that and gotten fast build now. I also need to look at it because you can get suit upgrades as well. Which are like the, the hero mission equivalent of far, uh, red bricks. Um, you get the suit upgrades. And, I don't know, they might actually be useful, so I should probably look at what the suit upgrades you can get are. Well, I know, like, one of them, and it is literally just that Batman's sonar suit summons bats when you, um, like, when you use it, which, I mean, is pretty fucking useless, let's be honest. That's not exactly groundbreaking there, is it? But, I mean... Other ones could be slightly more useful, I suppose. And I'll have to go and get them anyway at some point.
But I think one of them as well. I think one of them might be that you can have like four bombs with Batman's explosive suit rather than three. Which again, fairly useless because I don't think I've actually used more than one bomb at a time in this playthrough so far. But, yeah, I'll have to get it at some point, I suppose. I really can't be fucked to go up there and... Can I just switch to, like... Do I actually have to break through it, or can I just do this bit? I wonder if that's close enough. Don't think it's close enough. Okay, fine. I might as well just do it. Where is a fucking strong character? There we go. Jesus Christ. How do I get up there? Don't tell me I could have just jumped across it. I think I probably could have just jumped across, couldn't I? Yep. Well, lesson learned. Will you just blow it up, please? Oh, I can't. Does it have to come from... Why not? There we go. That's a weird design there, that you can't actually blow it up until you've removed the other two pieces from it or something. That's just an interesting choice in my opinion, but who am I to judge? Right, how do I get this red brick? Oh, I have to go through the mirrors. Ew, Lord. Well, that's... Oh, I see. I just get through the mirrors one way or another. Presumably by using Robin's, like, object suit thing. Is that what I do? Oh, wait, no, I think I just have to... There we go. And we go through the mirrors into the mirror dimension. Which is not actually a mirror dimension, it's just... Have to glide across? No, I'm not going to make that. I must need to destroy these things. Maybe. Or, I just do this. There we go. And then, glide again. And we've got it. How many more? Oh, we've still got a couple of mini kits to go. I'm assuming that I'm going to need to use these at some point. So I might as well collect them all now. Is it in here? I use them? Yeah. I don't know if they get me a mini kit or what, but I might as well. No, oh, I think they do get the mini kit. 
I'm missing one. Well, something better give me a mini kit. I think that might be the final room. So I don't really want to go in there. Did I miss one down here? One of these things. These things being lockers. I don't know. Oh, there it is. I see it now. I'll do all that in a moment. Unless that's the final room. I don't know, there's like four directions, like three directions I can go in right now. Is this where I want to go? That's not a direction I can go. Okay, well I wouldn't have had the Riddler. So, I'm assuming... This door here... Gets me somewhere where I can get mini kits and things. It seems to be. Oh, sorry, Joker. Just knocked him out. Or at least confused him a little bit. Oh. It's got like the the symbols on it of each thing. I don't imagine that one of the mini kits is gonna be to fill up the like pieces thingy again. So I'm not gonna bother with getting all the parts. Like all, all of these like bits sitting around again. I'm not going to bother getting them. Because like, it's just going to take time. I thought it was going to like spawn the bike out of its fucking asshole and just be like, look, you made two in one. Where's the bike? Oh, I see. The bike was just frozen, it had liquefied, and I had to put it back together again by a freezing it, I suppose. Ow, you prick. Well, I can't get over there, so... I haven't played the old, or rather the new LEGO games in a lot, uh, the new Batman games in a long time, but I really hope they didn't keep the free play system where you had to click through all four of each character's suits. I hope there's like a hold down triangle or something and you can switch to it. I can't imagine they kept the system, it just feels like a Unnecessary pain in the arsehole. Well, thank God for that. That was really helpful. Still have two mini kits to go. I oh, know I don't. I've only got one. in here. Or like the room on my right rather. 
No, it's like further over here. Oh, I could have gotten this in the first, like the first playthrough I did. Now that. And back to Arkham Asylum. Another level done. We'll go and buy that. I suppose we'll start making our way through the Joker levels. First things first though, before I go and do anything, I need to go for a week, so I'll be back. Uh, oh, I only did three that time. I thought I did four. Or, like, normally do four. I've reached Scepter. I mean, other than fast build and invincibility, the rest of the Joker mini uh, red bricks aren't exactly that useful. I think this is times four, six, eight, ten. This one only, uh, paraphrase penguin. The last two we have left are stud magnet and character studs, I believe. Oh shit, I was going to do Arctic World, wasn't I? Uh, let's just do Arctic World. So one of these two... Oh wait, did I already get the red brick for the Arctic World? I did. Nice, okay, well, we'll just focus on getting mini kits for it then. Yay. So yeah, the uh, first two for Power Craze Penguin are Stud Magnet and... Is that a... Uh... No. Well, how do I get in there? Then? The first two are stud magnet and character studs, which aren't exactly useful, but you know, worth getting. Stud magnet's pretty good, but character studs aren't exactly like special because they only ever drop like the silvers and the golds. So until you like got quite a lot of multipliers really doesn't get you much there you go right, suck up all the bits try not to miss any but what do I do with this thing am I meant to well maybe I'm supposed to knock them down like these things down Hey, I'm a genius. But actually, this is just money. Like, that doesn't really gain me anything. Unless, I'm still a genius. There we go. I am a genius. It just takes a second sometimes. I have now got to try and get out. There we go. So... I'm not going to try and do... I'm only going to try Arctic World once if I'm... I'm going to get all as many mini kits as I can. And I'm going to try my best to get that one pain in the ass mini kit um, that's in, like, the tunnel. If I don't get it, I'm not going to keep retrying the mission. Until I get it, we're just going to move on and I'll try another time. I really wish I didn't have to, like, go through the entire mission to be able to get it or to it like I could just kind of no can I not okay so I could just double jump up um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna have to keep streaming because my headset is complaining at me that it's nearly dead so I might have to give this a try how long it's been an hour and a half kind of wanted to do like closer to two hours so we'll just push it as long as we can but the headset may die at some point, and I may just have to kind of play without sound. Or I suppose I could put use AirPods. Yeah, I could do that. But I kind of need the penguin up there first, don't I? I oh, know. There we go.
piss off. Yeah, we also need to do this, but I don't... Oh, it's like just a... I remember why I couldn't do it before. It was just because it was a double jump thing. Let me use Catwoman. See, the thing about this, or um, Poison Ivy, she works as well, is that it doesn't matter if you fuck it up because you get to retry it. The thing that makes the mini kit so shit in this mission is that you don't get to retry it if you fuck it up. Penguin, you're a fucking idiot. Alright, just change to someone that can double jump. Oh my fuck. And you. Both of you, get a fuck up here. Oh. Screwed that one up. Well, hopefully. Okay, thank god. I was hoping the AI wasn't going to, like, confuse itself and it was going to continue going up. Oh, it's a time-based thing. Oh, that's dumb. Okay. Well, do that one. How did I miss the first one? Oh, this is annoying. Please don't reset, please don't reset, please don't reset, please don't reset. I'm I'm getting that first one, you're just not registering that I'm getting it. What the fuck's going on? Like, look. Huh? I am confusion. Because I... What? Like, I, I fully went straight through that. What? And the shittiest bat Lego Batman mission award goes to this because... Are you shitting me? The AI does it himself. Please don't reset. Please don't reset. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Just get it. Please. And of course you would. Of course you fucking would. This resets. I'm going to cry. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, alright. My least favourite mission in this entire game. It's 100% this mission, because... Well, you got to do that, which took me, like, fucking half an hour. It didn't, but it took me five minutes, but... That's beside the point. But then you've also got to then do the fucking tunnel thing, which takes so long. I have never, like, to this day, I've still not actually managed to complete that tunnel thing. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I haven't got... I'm not even going to bother, because you need... If you have any hope of completing that mission, you need the little penguin minion things that are down in that right hand corner, or top right corner now. So, you know, I didn't have them, so I wasn't going to be able to complete it. We'll just go and do the Joker's missions. And there is a plane mission. Okay. Oh, 
I um what? Where, what? where am I going? What am I doing? Oh wait, do I have to break this thing? Oh, there we go. Oh yes, I love towing things. It never goes badly, ever. Well. I'll be sarcastic more often, because clearly that fucking worked. Tell you that. Is that what I meant to be doing? Yeah, nice. Where do I get the things to like destroy this thing? Because I assume oh actually that might just be Something I need a um bomb for. My words are slowing down today. I can't think. Oh, there it is. Oh, they got like a different look about. Them. Oh, it's because they're like um fear gas bombs rather than. Missiles. Well, that's funky. Does that... Will it now, like... No, it just... I wonder if it would, I wonder if it would destroy the thing on my left. Ooh. I have to destroy it. Shoot it more. No? Okay. Who knows? I'll just leave it alone. Bomb. Oh, it's not doing its like erratic shooting this time, it just stops. <laughs> to bomb something over here. Don't you? Maybe not. Maybe it is as simple as just bombing the tower. Or maybe I don't even need to. What needs bombing then? Now I'm confused. Oh, that needs bombing. Got it. The headset is definitely on its last legs right now. Any second now it's going to stop. It'll do one last beep at me and then it'll... Cut out. Although to be fair, I'm not doing too badly so far. Please tell me that hit it. It did, thank god. If it can last 20 more minutes, we'll be fine. I don't think it will, but you know. I can hope. Alright, what do I actually need to do to you? Can't get through there, so I assume there must be something I can launch a scarecrow or a fear gas bomb at somewhere. Maybe there's not then. 
That's very irritating though, the beeping it does every time it launches a missile. Okay. <laughs> These vehicle missions have a thing for failing to actually show me what I need to do. Alright, let me just see. Do I have to tow you like I did with the other one? No. So, are there bombs or something somewhere that I need to blow up something with? So I definitely can't just shoot you, can I? Do I have to guide the missile back into you? Oh, do I have to guide the missile over here and have it like blow one of these up or something? Nope, that didn't work. One then, missile me. Um. I'm just confused because I can collect more scarecrow nades, but I have nothing to fire at them at. Right, Google we go because TT Games has once again created a shit level. Congratulations, TT Games. Biplane Blast Boss. Like like I said earlier, I, I enjoy LEGO games, but TT Games just did not get it right in the first few games. Head to the left and plow through the billboard. What fucking billboard? I mean the one that looks like it can only be passed by the Riddler. Why make it look like you can only go through it as the Riddler, if I can go through it as any fucking Donny I want to? There we go, now I have something to use the Scarecrow nades on. Oh, but I'm going to have to just do that over and over again. Why have you given the fucking police helicopter six lives? I'll tell you what, four of those lives better just be shooting it and not having to, like, faff about trying to get more turrets to spawn somewhere. A little spin there, just to... Now what? And now he's flying around. Oh, it is just damaging him. Yes! Come on. Just kill it. Thank God. But it's not over yet. Why is it not over yet? There we go. Jesus Christ. Sorry. TT games. Let these early games be a reflection of the knowledge you have gained comparing them to the newer games, because the newer games are ten times, not even that, a hundred times better. These old games are great, but they do massively lack in just common sense in some places. It's not even that, they just feel like they've not been tested and... Well, no, actually, it is a lack of common sense. It's like... Just thinking about things and being like, well, actually, is this a good idea or not? And just kind of rolling with it, despite the fact that it's clearly a shit idea. But also not... It doesn't feel like it's been tested because there's so many aspects of the game that are, like... Just not intuitive. The game doesn't feel like it wants to be completed, it just feels like you're fighting it to get anywhere. Oh.
I'm not sure we're going to get time to finish all of the uh, Joker levels in this episode because we have only, we've still got three lesson levels to go and I've only got about 15 minutes left that I was planning to stream for. Um, but we'll see what we can do. We'll make sure to get, or we'll try and get this mission done. But yeah. Can I do this now? Or no? I don't know if it was one of those, like, it just doesn't look like it can be used yet, but it actually can. You know what I mean, so you're telling me the Joker can just straight one arm push the fucking. Oh, whoops. I needed the other character to be up there. So I can one arm push it. Oh, I needed to then actually use the... I can one-arm push it, what I was trying to say, but he's not classed as a strong character. No other character just strip one-arm pushes it. Now, which direction am I supposed to go in this one? Nope. Please don't go back down. Oh Christ, he's got a fucking shotgun. Oh wait, no, it might just be a rifle. Do these work with the Joker or not? Because if they don't... No, they don't. So why did the, the billboard have a picture of, like, question marks on it? Because I was willing to admit that maybe... Unless the Scarecrow can do it, but I don't get why he would be able to do it. If anyone should to do it, it'd be the Mad Hatter. But I mean, I guess the, the Scarecrow must be able to do it, because we've got to get through that door one way or another. Unless this isn't the door we're meant to go through. Okay. Sure, why not? I suppose all I can think to say to that. I, I, I don't really get why the purple and green question mark is something the Scarecrow can do, the Joker can't. But, sure. I feel like I spend a lot of the time playing these games complaining about them. I do genuinely enjoy them. I wouldn't, like, sit and play them for nearly, like, two hours. If I didn't, and I mean, when we get into some of the actual, like, later games, I enjoy them considerably more. When we get to Pirates of the Caribbean, if I complain about that game, like, because I, I probably still will, unconsciously, just shut me up. I don't care what you do, just shut me up, because I'm wrong. There's nothing wrong with that game. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean is just fucking amazing. And I'm, I'm really hoping that it's not just like nostalgia, but I remember it through rose-tinted glasses, and it is actually just a genuinely good game. Oi! I was texting. Fuck off. Okay, well, I'm going to need... Now, see, I feel like the Scarecrow should have to walk in this. He literally has a gas mask. But I bet the Joker can go in it, can't he? I mean, the Joker going in it makes sense, but the fact the Scarecrow can't doesn't make sense. There's just a lot of things that happen in this LEGO game. I think actually Indiana Jones, I would say, was a better game than this is. No, because like Indiana Jones was a bit basic, I feel. I think the fact that this is a superhero game, it lends itself to be a bit more interesting. 
But actually, for just general common sense, I feel like Lego Indiana Jones was better. Because in this, like, they both have the same issue of enemies continuously spawning and TT Games not understanding that a constant stream of enemies does not make the game interesting, it just makes it long and tiresome. But there's just some things in this that I just feel like don't really make a huge amount of sense. How do I get over there? Am I even meant to get over there? Ah, bollocks. Oh, hang on, wait. Maybe I'm being stupid. I'm definitely being stupid right now. Am I being stupid? Plop. And... Plop. But, thinking about it, I don't think there was any point in Lego Indiana Jones where I felt that... The game was just entirely unintuitive, which I have definitely felt at times playing this. I've had to Google how to complete certain bits of levels on two occasions now. I don't know, I just don't remember having to do that for Lego and Yellow Jones. But it's, you know, maybe, I, maybe I'm just an idiot. Maybe that's all it is. Which, fair enough. But I think we can all agree that there are some elements of Lego Batman that once you kind of get past the nostalgia of the fact that oh, it was the first video game I ever played, which it was. Lego Batman was the first video game I ever played. Once you get past that, which I be up, believe me, I am well beyond that, having nearly 100%ed it three times now, I am so far past nearly uh, the nostalgia that I, I can see it for what it is, and what it is, is unfortunately just not as good as the newer games. I don't remember what year this was. Because I remember being about 10 when I played it, so it must be earlier than 2014. Which, I mean, I already assumed it was, because I think the complete saga... In fairness, the complete saga may have actually come out slightly later than this. I don't know, because the complete saga was a collection of the first two Lego Star Wars games. Which definitely came out before this did. But I don't know how much... I don't know if they then did the complete saga, like the video game of both of those two combined, before they then made any other games. Because I'm pretty sure that the complete saga was 2011. I mean, they used to just pump these fucking games out. Because if Complete Saga was 2011, then they've managed to do so many games in 12 years. Well, well over 12, so well over one a year. Which is weird, because... Actually, I was about to say, they, were, they kind of... They took a few years with Skywalker Saga between that and the other one. But actually... It was... I don't even know now. Because I think the one before that was DC Villains. Which I know literally nothing about. 
Um, never seen any gameplay from it, never touched it, never even opened the game. Like, pretty much every other LEGO game I have played at least once, except for LEGO Hobbit. But DC Supervillains, I know absolutely nothing about. But even still, I've seen... Like, I've seen gameplay from LEGO Lord of the Rings and LEGO The Hobbit. So I at least know something about them. What am I doing? Do I have to use the crane? And then... Got in there? Yes. But I can't do it again. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, am I gonna have to, like, get the Joker back over to reactivate it? I am. I have to look at my document now and see if I can see if I was correct that Complete Saga was 2011 which would put this presumably at 2013 if they did Complete Saga 2011 then Indiana Jones 2012 oh right um well what am I meant to do now and then this one, 2013. Oh, I didn't actually write down the dates of them. I just wrote down when they... Or which one... Like, their order. So I don't know now. I'm just trying to think if there's any other games looking at my list that I've never seen anything about at all. Can I even get over there? No, get in the fucking crane. Oh my god. Um No, actually, looking at it, I have played and seen something from every single LEGO game, except for LEGO DC Super Villains. Because even LEGO City on the Cover, I've played a bit of. The LEGO Movie, I actually 100%ed on my PS4 because I was clearly very bored. LEGO Movie 2. I've seen a little bit about it from YouTube videos, but other than that, hang on a fucking minute, there we go. Um, other than that, I've really not seen much about that one, I guess. But even like Lego Jurassic World, for some reason I just had Lego Jurassic World and Lego Movie Video Game both on PC, uh, no, PS4, so I've played both of them quite a lot. But, yeah. They're quite, two quite obscure LEGO games that I've just played. But once we finish this mission, or, you know, we've finished this little cutscene, yeah, that is going to be it for today, because we've just hit about two hours, and I want to go to the gym, basically. So thank you so much for coming and hanging out for a bit. Um, to all of you who did, don't forget to follow, and turn on notifications so you can be notified, I guess. Um, I should be live again tomorrow. Might do some multiplayer stuff, maybe a bit of Sea of Thieves, maybe some Cold War or something like that. I don't actually even think my PC could handle streaming Cold War, so I, won't, I probably won't do that. But either way, thank you all so much, and I will see you when I see you.